The purpose of the roadshow has been outreach uh, to um, bring to different audiences, different areas, different locations, uh, just to give them an introduction to the, the website and to the archive and to the resource, um, and also to um, help publicise the forthcoming uh, co conference uh, on the 17th and 18th of November in Belfast uh, on the Accounts of the Conflict Project. Well, Dundalk has been very profoundly affected over the whole period of the Troubles. Um, it became a, a site for the, the stream of uh, refugees moving down over the border who expected uh, a warm reception in the one they got and it caused a lot of problems. So in the longer term, uh, Dundalk became notorious uh, with the, the, got the name El Paso and it was uh, economically very damaging for the place. So even though and Dundalk was, of course, uh, bombed at one stage. So even though Dundalk is uh, outside of Northern Ireland, it's profoundly affected by it. And it's important, I think, that people see that the, the shadow of a conflict extends far beyond uh, the site where it might be occurring. And it can have a, a reverberation far beyond a, a defined area. I was very impressed with what I saw. I think this is a fantastic resource, not only for this generation, but for future generations. It's very much going to be on a par, if not better than Lost Lives, the book that future generations will be able to look back on. And by reading the statistics and the accounts of the conflict, the dialogue given by ordinary people of how the troubles affected them and their families, because not only was a person killed or injured, brothers, sisters, children were all affected. This is going to be in these stories and the future generations will be able to look at this and see the full horror of the troubles and hopefully this will be an illustration why this must never happen again. This is the whole point of the troubles in Middle Peace is to make sure it never happens again and this archive is going to go a long way to educating people that wrapping the flag around them is not the answer to Northern Ireland. And I'm very impressed and I wish it all the best and every success.